Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia where we absolutely love making wreaths. With me today is Louis in his bow tie looking as handsome as ever and in today's video we are doing a subscriber requested video and that is a square ruffle wreath. I had so much fun planning this wreath, so without further ado, let's get started on our nautical square ruffle wreath. Here are the supplies I'm going to use for this wreath. I'm going to use two rolls of decomash, each are 10 inches by 10 yards. The first one is this plain white one, and the second one, as you can see, is absolutely stunning. I just love how the foiling going through this decomash matches our sign. Our sign is about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. It's fairly large, but beautiful and bold. A pack of pipe cleaners, and in my case, I'm going to be using some stunning ribbon. This one looks like some netting, iridescent and white in shade. I got this one at Hobby Lobby and it's worth it, you guys. This one is so beautiful and I'm going to pair it with another gorgeous one, a dark blue netting looking one also. It is little shimmery. We got glam going on in both of our ribbons today. For our wreath base, I'm going to be using a three row, 14 by 14 inch metal square wreath form. Before we cut our deco mesh, let's talk about our wreath base. Our wreath base is made up of eight sections and they are uneven, meaning the corners are different size than the sides. What I want to do is, I want one more piece in the corner than in this section. I want seven, so I want three here and four here. Since we are using two rolls of decomesh, it's kind of like one decomesh is enough for half of the wreath. And since I know in my sections I want three pieces, four pieces, three pieces, four pieces, I know I need this roll to last enough for 14 pieces. Here's how I'm going to do the math. I'm going to take 360 inches, which is the same thing as 10 yards. Divide that by 14. That's going to give me 25.7, which means I'm going to be cutting my deco mesh into about 25 and a half inch strips. That way I'm going to have enough for half of my wreath. When using plain deco mesh like this, you don't have any foiling through it, threading through it, a regular rotary cutter is going to be just fine. But when you have deco mesh that has so much foiling through it like this one does, I do recommend using a heating tool and that's what I'm going to do today. Since I'm using my wood burning tool, I do have tempered glass on my table. I'll have a link to it in the description box below and in my Amazon shop. Cutting mat that I'm using is 24 inches. It does have half an inch going all the way around, which adds another inch. So now I'm at 25 and then I'm just going to have my deco mesh off the table just a little bit, just that half an inch so that I can make 25 and a half inch strips. As usual, I'm going to try to go in between the rows as much as possible and this will seal everything in nicely. Now I'm just rolling my deco mesh naturally and I'm going to put it in a laundry basket next to me. I'm trying to cut as fast as I can for two reasons. One, Simba is about to break the door down and he is just mowing up a storm over there. And two, I do not want to smell the fumes on this at all. So I do have a window open and I do recommend that you work in a ventilated area when using a heating tool while cutting deco mesh. Since I already had my wood burning tool heated up, I decided to also cut my white deco mesh with it. But as I said, you can definitely just use a rotary cutter to do that. And same thing, I'm just going to roll it up and put it in my laundry basket. Now it's time to cut the ribbon and I'm going to be cutting it at 
12 inches because I do want it to pop out of the decomash nicely. And we're going to need 14 pieces. I'm zigzagging the ribbon up so that when I cut it, I can cut it and make dovetails at the same time. To cut my ribbon, I'm going to fold the ends in half and cut a little triangle out from inside out. And when I'm doing that, I'm making sure that I cut where the folds of the ribbon are. And there you go. You just cut and make dovetails at the same time. Next, I'm going to take my beautiful dark navy glam ribbon. And this one I'm also going to do at 12 inches. And I'm going to need 14 pieces. Just like my first ribbon, I'm going to zigzag it up and cut the endings making dovetails. Let's attach our pipe cleaners to our wreath base. You can either do three on the inside, four on the inside. For my wreath, I am going to go on an intersection. That will be my one, two, three, one, two, three, four. The next two pipe cleaners, I am going to attach to row one and two, but I am going to tie on two, and this is just for more stability. For this wreath, it doesn't matter which way your pipe cleaners are facing because we're only using row two to attach. We're going for more of a square wreath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on row one, going to do one twist. Then with the tails, I'm going to take one, go underneath, pull it out. With the second one, I'm going to go underneath this side, pull it out. You should have this V going on. And now I'm just going to twist in the center. And now you have a secure little corner piece. Let's do another corner one. Go on row one in this corner, twist to keep the pipe cleaner place. That's it. Now I'm going to take one of my sides and go underneath row two, just like this. You don't have to go all the way to the corner, pull it out. Then I'm going to go with this side, also underneath row two and pull it out and you should have a little V. Next, I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to twist them twice in the center. This is what's going to give me that solid, solid connection here in the corner so that our wreath can have more of a squared look. And then I'm going to repeat this process. All the pipe cleaners are on. I know it looks like a lot. And if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, just break it down to sections. We got three and four in the corners. That's it. The way I'm going to be attaching my deco mesh to my wreath base is print solid, print solid. With the colorful deco mesh, I'm going to attach the white iridescent. And with the white, I'm going to have that stunning blue. And we're going to make ruffle bundles. I'm going to have my deco mesh roll onto the table. And I'm going to take about half an inch to an inch and make a little fold. Next, you want to make sure you find the center of your deco mesh. I have a line that's going to make it easy for me. If you don't have that line, just use your cutting mat, go in the center, and then you're going to collect in the little square. Two thumbs at the bottom, and here we go. We're collecting our gorgeous, gorgeous ruffle. When we come towards the end, that end will automatically want to curl back we're going to use that and have that little bit of a half inch or an inch folded and just bring it in. And we have a gorgeous ruffle. Next, we're going to add the ribbon. The quickest way to do it is I throw it on my cutting mat, find the center, put it right inside. We have our ruffle and let's attach. Now I'm just twisting the pipe cleaner up, cut about an inch from the connection, fold that and hide the pipe cleaner behind. Next, I have my white ruffle and on here, I don't know where my center is. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, which is do a little fold at the end, center my deco mesh, go in the little square and off I go making my ruffle. And as you're going, you can definitely see that you're in the center. When I come towards the end of the ruffle, you can see that the end wants to naturally curl back and we're going to use that to our advantage. I'm going to make that fold at the end and just walk my way towards the end of our little ruffle. Look at that. Taking my ribbon, 
I'm going to find the center super quick, put it inside my ruffle, and let's attach it to the next pipe cleaner. Now we're just going to twist it up about an inch, cut the excess, and fold back. I only have four ruffles in, and as you can see, we have a black wreath base that you cannot see through all of this. At this point, everything is going to be repeated just like I did my first four. I'm going to do that going all the way around. All the decomesh is on. It's so beautiful, and as you can see, we have very defined corners because we put that pipe cleaner on the corners. And now we have to decide one main thing, how we want this wreath to hang. Do we want it to be just in a square or in a diamond shape? In this case, I'm going to go for diamond shape because I want these corners to show. Also, if you would like to move any deco mesh at this point, you can definitely do that, especially my pretty foiled one. I'm going to move it up. Next, I'm going to bring in my sign. First, let's remove this jute cord. As you can see, these holes are kind of large and there's a good chance that they're going to show up in the wreath and I don't want that. So I'm getting some ribbon that is close to the color of the edge and match my wreath beautifully. And what I'm going to do is cut four pieces, making sure that I have an inch on both sides so I can twist it around and hot glue it in the back. And then I'm just going to use the same ribbon to attach my pipe cleaners to the back of the wreath so I can hang it. And I cut those about two inches in length. To attach a little bit, very light hot glue on top, heavy hot glue in the back. Now that the front of the wreath is nice and neat, let's work on the back. Because the sign is large, I am going to grab for pipe cleaners, I'm going to fold them in half, but in the middle, I'm going to make this little area I call the seat. I just take two fingers and or one finger, depending on how thin your ribbon is or your piece of fabric or whatever you're using to attach. And this way, we just put a little bit of hot glue, pipe cleaner on, hot glue on top, hot glue at the bottom. Grab your piece of felt, fabric, or in this case, a ribbon and attach that. I have used other very popular ways to attach my signs and you know what? This one is yet to fail me. So I stick to what works. I'm ready to put my sign on the wreath, but now I want to make sure that where my sign is going, I'm going to grab any ribbon I can, pull it to the side. Now we can put the sign on. Let's flip. I'm going to attach all four corners to this middle section in between two of my deco mesh bundles. Because my ribbon is mesh, I do make sure that I pull it up and fold it back so you can see it as I continue pulling out all that beautiful, beautiful ribbon. I'm also going to make sure that my pretty mesh shows up with that teal foiling on it and this wreath is so good to use if you have some stunning deco mesh that you want to show off this is the way to use it because look at this it's all in front of you on the sides top bottom and we have that focal square sign just to give you an idea of how large this wreath is 25 to 26 inches in width corner to corner with the deco mesh so it's great to use it in places like above the fireplace maybe a place on the porch if you have a room for that or anywhere where you have room to display this gorgeous gorgeous big wreath What did you guys think of the wreath? It's not that hard and I think it's super fun to make. I love the fluffiness of this wreath and that deco mesh really does go a long way for a big beautiful wreath. Thank you so much for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe for more wreath tutorials and we will see you in our next video. Bye bye my sweet friends. Mwah!
Luis say bye. Mwah.